Hey there, friends. Thanks for starting your week with us. Uh, welcome to another Monday edition of Up to Speed. Hope you're rested and ready for another great week at work. And speaking of exceptional places to work, we've got Christy back with us live today. So as we welcome our HR leader back to the show, I know, Christy, you took some time to rest with your family last week. So after some much deserved time off to recharge those batteries, Christy, how are you feeling today? Andy, it's great to be here on Up to Speed with you and all the V-teamers. I have to admit, it was great to take a week of vacation with my family and really enjoy some downtime. And I can't um, underscore enough how much we recommend our V-teamers take time and do self-care, take some uh, break away from, uh, from the action of the job and really recharge your batteries. And that's how I feel today. I'm charged up and I had a lot of time to just get some space uh, and and really feel great so it's great to be back and i know for some of you we've talked about even if it's a staycation or something uh at your home or if you are able to get away i was a little nervous i hadn't traveled in a year um but i did brave uh the travel circumstances and there was great safety protocols and i'm currently following all the safety guidelines both uh leading up to the trip and following the trip and i have to say uh, lots of great support for all of that so, um, Andy, it's great to be here. Um, I also want to say how proud I am of the V team. Uh, obviously, a lot transpired last week while I was on vacation and I was following along on our up to speed and other communication channels. And, you know, last week's tragic events in Atlanta really struck home for me and for so many of you on the V team. And I was so moved to see all of our V teamers coming together and really continuing to declare and underscore the fact that violence and discrimination cannot be tolerated and that we stand united as a V team against that. Um, we also have a racial justice action plan, which we've created and updated to continue to push for progress within our walls as well as beyond our walls. And we were able to collaborate not only within our DE&I team last week, but we partnered with our PACE ERG um, to update and amend our racial and social justice toolkit to really reflect on concerns and expertise and things um, that are really relevant to the um, violence and the uptick in aggression toward the Asian community here in the United States. Um, we also are partnering with PACE to launch a new round of what we're calling bystander intervention training. And this is so that we can all have the tools and the tactics to step up and have a voice when we see people being harassed. And so this is a really important time to refresh and update those tools and for all of us to find ways to have a voice when we witness something that we feel is inappropriate and to do so in a safe way but in a way that we acknowledge and declare that uh, violence against uh, individuals because of their race or other personal characteristics is not acceptable. Um, we also have been doing small group sessions with our EAP, our employee assistance programs, to ensure that our employees have a private and a safe place to share their thoughts. We've been doing these throughout the last 12 months, really on the heels of the racial uh, violence incidences following George Floyd's murder and others. And we found over the many sessions such as these that we've run where, you know, groups of 10 to 15 employees come together with a professional counselor, it really is a source for people um, to share and relieve stress, get coaching, get guidance, get consolations from others and from an expert. So we're doing those and we're really leaning into the current events around this. And then finally, Andy, I know um, Hans shared last week, but I think something that's also so important is, you know, we also have put up financial resources to aid uh, advancing on this front. And so Hans announced that we've contributed $10 million, both in ad inventory as well as financial assistance to groups on the front lines of protecting the rights and the well-being of the Asian community. And so I want to just share um, as a VLC member and on behalf of all of the VLC members and Hans that it's so important to us um, and we want everybody to know that we stand by you and with you to our Asian colleagues and that we're committed to building an equitable future where hate has no place in society. And there's so much more work to be done. Last week's events reminded us of that. But as we come together as a V team, I I feel very confident we can do it here at Verizon, and hopefully we can help shape and influence and share 
our success with those around us and influence society. And so again, my um, my greatest concern over what we saw happen, um, senseless violence, and hopefully we will be stronger and we'll all learn from it. It absolutely means the world um, to hear you and the passion behind your words, Christy. So thank you to you and your team uh, for once again, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's events like these that unfortunately uh, bring this conversation uh, to uh, the center of our hearts. And, uh, and once again, Verizon has stepped up. And so uh, to you, your team and our leaders, thank you so much. Uh, for rallying around uh, RV teamers, especially when they're when they're hurting the most. And uh, Christy, I know that's a sentiment we can all rally around. And a perfect segue uh, to our next topic. As I'm watching uh, on Twitter here, uh, the hearts are popping, as I like to say here. Lots of great sentiment here for what you're sharing. Uh, so as you shared, uh, we step up for all RV teamers, which is why we are recognized as a leading company. And just recently, the Human Rights Campaign gave Verizon a 100% rating uh, again on their corporate equity index, the CEI. So Christy, can you break this down for us and tell us why uh, this recognition is so important? First, I cannot tell you all how excited I am about this. The Human Rights Campaign has done an amazing job really bringing to light and creating a standard of evaluating the quality of treatment of employees and companies across the board. And we all seek their evaluation. And the highest thing you can do is achieve 100 points on their index. And so we are so proud of the fact that Verizon has now for the sixth year in a row received a 100 on the Human Equality Index. And this is a benchmark and it's not static. The Human Resource Campaign, they don't, the Human Rights Campaign, they don't stand still. So every year they're updating what it takes to get 100 on that index. They're reflecting current events, current policies, and they're constantly raising the bar and pushing us all to be better. And so each year we look at their standards and we work hard to make sure we can sustain that 100. And so receiving 100 points and a perfect score is something that we hold so dear and special. And that is so rewarding because this makes Verizon considered, quote, a best place to work for the LGBTQ community equality. And this is a, you know, it, the way that the HRC has designed this instrument, it focuses on equality for the rights of LGBTQ employees, but also it has deep care for all employees of all races, of all ages, all genders, national origins, et cetera. And it's by having equality for all that companies can really rise and we can bring society forward. And so I just want to underscore, um, we're very, very proud of this recognition. It puts us among a group of select companies that also value greatly being able to bring these practices to life. And I want to remind employees that our LGBTQ community does not have all of the same rights and legal protections that other employees have. And so, you know, we've continued to make real progress on having parts of Title VII include the LGBTQ community, but there's more to be done. And that's why the HRC index is so important because they're pushing companies to go beyond what's legally required because this community doesn't have all of the same legal protections. And so we're so honored to be part of this. And Andy, I want to give a huge shout out to two V-teamers, Jeremy yeah. Washburn and Alia McLeod. These two individuals were selected as outstanding LGBTQ role models by Yahoo Finance. And we're so lucky to have exceptional role models at Verizon who really lead the way forward. We have told some amazing stories of our LGBTQ community uh, and our V-teamers. Jeremy was one of them, and we will continue, of course, uh, to tell those stories uh, here, uh, a promise from our comms team. So, Christy, thank you very much. And, of course, yes, a big shout-out uh, to Jeremy, Aliyah, and all the V-teamers contributing uh, to our perfect score uh, from HRC. And staying on the awards for a moment, um, boy, I mean, we hate to brag, as we said on our uh, preview e-card here, but I heard we were honored with some pretty significant recognition uh, so this is like the Academy Awards level uh, for workplace awards. I know it is indeed award season. So can you tell us more about this award, Christy? Well, this is one of the main reasons I wanted to join today. We're so excited. We have an employee North Star. And as you often hear Hans talk about our four stakeholders, our customers, our shareholders, our employees, and society, for each of those, we have a North Star. And our employee North Star is to be recognized as one of the best employers in the world. And we are using Gallup's Employee Engagement Index to measure that. So we're not just measuring it ourselves. We have a, a measurement instrument that's benchmarked with literally 
uh, hundreds and hundreds of companies in the world, 40 years of data, et cetera. And so Gallup has awarded Verizon the 2021 Exceptional Workplace Award. And this is really an award for all of the V-teamers. I'm so honored to be here to share this news with all of you. But this is really a tremendous honor and it's presented to organizations that meet the highest standards of excellence. And it really puts us among an elite group of organizations and it reflects how we engage and how we support the V-team. And in order to get to receiving this award, we had to meet a lot of rigorous criteria, all anchored in our Pulse Plus survey participation. We had participation rates of 80% or higher. In fact, in the last survey, we had 87%. And we had to also demonstrate how our employee engagement translates directly to business outcomes. And so we're just so excited about the progress that we see happening all across the Verizon 2.0 vision and also realizing our North Star being a best place to work. And we know that it takes more than the best technology to move the world forward, that it takes the best people. And that's our V team. And all of your feedback and engagement that you give us on the Pulse surveys every quarter is really helping bring that all to life and helping us win. That is fantastic. I'm seeing uh, the hearts pop and folks are celebrating with little trophy emojis. And I know we showed the trophy. Now, um, yes, there actually is a trophy. And Christy, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I wanted to make sure that, you know, you uh, had a chance to uh, to to celebrate here. Uh, and so it, I don't know if you know, but I've been uh, figuring out a way to try and get this trophy on up to speed. And I am uh, texting right now uh, Mr. Uh, Michael Pambianchi uh, to, uh, to, to join you in your up to speed room with the trophy. So the Pambianchi family, Christy, what? is surprising you with the trophy. Oh my gosh, this is a total surprise. Wow, this is my son, Harry. Wow, and my daughter, Sarah, <laughs> and my husband, Mike. Oh my gosh. So Andy, Christy, give us, your, uh, give, us, give us your acceptance speech here. Okay, well, first of all, I'm totally blown away and I am hard to surprise. So holy cow, gotcha. I didn't even know Andy knew my husband's text number. So I don't know, Andy, we'll talk about that later. I'm like getting stressed <laughs> out here. Um, First, I have to just say, this award is for all V-teamers, and it's just my honor to accept it on our behalf, and I'll work with Jim Gerace and Donna and the comms team to figure out where we can display this in the building um, to celebrate everything that we're doing as a company. I think a couple of things that we learned in the last year is that our V-team is our greatest asset, and we should really celebrate this win. Um, this recognition makes me so proud what each of you have done for each other, what we've done for our customers, how we've kept the world connected during COVID. Um, and we know to remain an industry leader means that we have to continue to foster an environment where you all feel valued and supported and that what you do matters. And you know how what you do in your job connects to our overall purpose as a company of you know, building and creating the networks that move the world forward. And I think about receiving this award on top of the announcements we made at our IR conference, on top of all the 5G build we did the two years before that. And I think with an unstoppable network and an unstoppable, highly engaged workforce, I just can't imagine what we're gonna accomplish. And so I, 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 I'm totally blown away that this award is actually physically in my hands here right now. And I want to tell you all the survey, the Pulse Plus survey is going to be in May. And we definitely want to hear from all of you. And you'll hear from Hans and all the members of the Verizon leadership team promoting and asking for your support um, because we learned so much. We've come so far and we are already a top quartile engagement organization and we're going for 90th percentile. It won't be easy, but we're going to do it, Andy. So, wow. Wow, and wow, family, with the big yes. surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know um, um, your family can't hear me. You're on AirPods here, but I just wanted to uh, thank uh, uh, Mike and the kids, and uh, we, we were trying to surprise you there. I'm glad we did. 
So I'll let you and the family kind of regroup here. I will go through a couple of other quick little news elements and come back to you for one last uh, update here. I know we've got an important update, so we'll we'll let you uh, kind of uh, come down to earth after the surprise. I figured a few extra minutes with your family after that vacation would be nice, and it's a nice little surprise for you. Nice. So so. So, Christy, that was uh, amazing. Yes. So we'll we'll let you regroup here and let me get through. Uh, yes, the family dog is impressed as well. Uh, that's a little comment here on Twitter. So let's go through uh, some of our uh, our our news for Monday here, uh, and then we'll get back to Christy with some final thoughts and a very important update here. Uh, so uh, very quickly, uh, number one, before we go, a few must-see uh, Monday pieces of news. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for our Yahoo Build It Forward event. That'll be hosted by Craig Robinson. Uh, we caught up with Andrea Wasserman, head of global commerce for Verizon Media, to learn more about that big event. Andrea, take it away. I'm so excited to join Up to Speed today to talk about our global external event, Yahoo Builds It Forward. Tomorrow on Yahoo at 12 p.m. Eastern time, Guru and I will be broadcasting from a cutting edge XR stage, telling the world how Yahoo is bringing people closer to the things they love. Our audience will get a sneak peek into our amazing upcoming product launches that focus on things people are super passionate about, like sports, shopping, food, and parenting. As the head of global commerce, I'm particularly excited to talk about what's to come for the future of online shopping and how we're building a marketplace tailored and unique to each user. Our long-term goal is to cut through the noise of the internet and make each shopping experience personalized, seamless, and reflective of your personality and interests. Tomorrow, we'll even be joined by Rebecca Minkoff, world-renowned fashion designer who recently collaborated with our Yahoo Riot Lab for her collection at New York Fashion Week. I'll save the rest of the surprises for the show, but remember to tune in on Yahoo tomorrow, March 23rd at 12 p.m. Eastern time to watch Yahoo Build It Forward. All right. Very cool, Andrea. Thank you very much. So make sure you check out the event tomorrow. That's Yahoo, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. All the details linked in today's web story. Uh, and of course, Next 20, uh, ending Women's History Month with a look towards uh, empowering women through financial security. Uh, too often we think about investing, saving for retirement, other financial goals. That often gets lost in the shuffle of life uh, and of uh, the daily burdens uh, on a woman's time. So uh, as we take the next slide here, Yahoo Finance reporter Alexis Keenan sits down with Bola Sukumbi, best-selling author and CEO, founder of Clever Girl Finance, Aaron Lowry, best-selling author of the Broke Millennials book series, and Sally Krawcheck, CEO and co-founder of Elevest, who offer tips and guidance on how women can be their own advocates and build a strong financial future. Catch that episode uh, on Verizon Twitter uh, and LinkedIn. That's Wednesday, March 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern. We do have one more uh, Build It related video that we'll end the show with, but we are going to go back to Christy uh, for a final uh, thought and some important updates here, Christy. We've got, uh, boy, this show is just chock full of great celebrations, but of course, this update here, uh, very important uh, for those of us uh, who may have uh, healthcare spending accounts and uh, dependent care spending accounts. Andy, first, thanks again. I'm still so blown away. <laughs> I was already so excited that we won the Gallup Exceptional Workplace Award, but to receive the trophy and have my family partake in that um, is something I'm just blown away by, and I hope all the V-teamers can feel the joy. Um, and I, I won't try to throw it uh, across a boat. Uh, I'm, I'm no oh. Tom Brady, so I'm going to definitely <laughs> delicately handle our, our trophy here. You're still the GOAT, Christy. <laughs> But, you know, really exciting, um, the American Rescue Plan. And so for those of you in the United States, the American Rescue Plan had a lot of components of it to really help recharge society and help people get back on their feet. And one of the elements that affects the V-teamers is if you participated in health care spending accounts or depending care spending accounts. Um, normally, you would have anything you allocated in 2020, you would have had to use in 2020 and submit expenses for by March of 21, and it's a use it or lose it structure in both of those benefits. Under the American Rescue Plan, that has been waived, and you can now incur expenses through all of 2021 against the dollars you allocated in 2020. So I know a lot of you have written us questions in the Ask Christy box like you couldn't get to the doctor or your daycare centers were closed, you couldn't use the money that was in those accounts and you were worried about losing them. And we, along with other employers, asked for consideration. The government has listened. So you will have relief all the way through this year to spend that money and submit it for reimbursement. In addition, 
We will have a new election window that will be coming up. We'll have tons of communication in your email about this. But April 15th of this year to May 31st, you can um, change your elections for 2021 dollars that you're putting away. And you will have all of 21 and 22 to spend those dollars. So these are, from my perspective, an element of self-care, putting aside money pre-tax to help pay for any incurred medical expenses or daycare expenses. And so just want to promote that. You'll see emails coming out about it. And I think it's an important and an exciting component of the American Rescue Plan. Fantastic, Christy. Thank you uh, very much. And something so important and really, um, you know, we are constantly, as we think about recovery and we think about ways we get back on our feet, we move forward. Uh, there's so many things to think about. And of course, uh, you know, Christy, you're going to be back next month uh, to share uh, more about uh, Talent GPS uh, and offer an update on Work Forward as well. Uh, and uh, it's just, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a great celebratory day for us. And, and Christy, I hope I hope the surprise wasn't too big of a surprise there. I, I, I knew we wanted to make a big splash out of it. But uh, big thanks, of course, to the entire Pan Bianchi family. And I think it, it's speaks to the reflection of when we think about an exceptional workplace, we have to think about our families, especially last year. Um, they were such a crucial part of, of making um, what we do so special. But, but Christy, any, any final thoughts on this uh, celebratory Monday? I would just want to end a little bit where I started. So first, um, you know, hate has no place in the world. And I think one of the things that we as V-teamers can be is a spot of bright light and bring forward what the best in mankind has to offer. We did that in our COVID response. We've done that with the way we treat each other in the workplace, the way we treat our customers in the marketplace. And I think we could just continue to be a force for good. I think our Asian colleagues uh, would, would, would value any support that you may offer them. It's a very stressful time. And I think as we head into the trials and the increased publicity around uh, and remembering what happened with George Floyd's murder, similarly for our African-American, our, our black employees. And I think for any of us, we can all lean in. Everyone has something to gain from being part of bringing forward the light and shining a way for everybody to win together. And so when we realize one group doesn't have to lose for another group to win, we can all win together. That is, to me, the beauty of, of how we have to and move forward as a society. And I think similarly, when we think about our Verizon 2.0 vision and our purpose of building the networks to move the world forward, that's really something that we have this unique moment in time. We've now been awarded the spectrum. We've got the technical vision. Our teams have built out 5G and the mech cities, and we're working on all of the promise of what 5G can offer. We had the iconic launch. So there's so many fronts on which we're bringing that vision to life. And that technology is going to spawn so many improvements in people's lives and in society. And so we want the V team to all know how they connect to that, how they make a difference, and to have a workplace that they love coming to and that they feel proud of. And so the Gallup uh, Recognition Award as an exceptional workplace, the Human Rights Commission giving us 100 on the Human Equality Index, these are all measurements from third parties that say we're on the right path. And so very, very excited. We can't do it alone. We can only do it together. And so I would just say, let's keep going forward together. Something we should all be proud of and something really our entire families uh, should be proud of. So thank you uh, to you, Christy. Thank you to the entire Pan Bianchi family. And of course, thank you to our viewers uh, for watching. Uh, we're going to leave you with a behind the scenes video of the Build It Forward event. And until next time, you're up to speed. Yahoo is dropping all new ways for you to experience what you love, just the way you love to do it. Join me, Serena Williams, Craig Robinson, Rebecca Menkoff, David Ortiz, and more to see it all at Build It Forward.